Hey guys, how you doing? It's your bro, Mr. Luke Evan Brooks. I hope that everyone's doing well. I'm out here in Bahrain, just taking the time, enjoying myself, just really, really flexing on stuff. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. On Passive Income Central, I'm going to lay everything out that I know on how to create either a semi-passive or a passive stream of income. Because the old days of us working for someone, having one type of income source and the only type of income source is old. This is where you set yourself up to be a liability instead of an asset. So today, I just want to talk to you about some of the things that I'm seeing with the economy as global, right? Because again, I'm in Bahrain. I see the stuff that's going on in America. And I see that a lot of people are hurting, right, all over. Uh, with the states, as I see, interest rates, they stop right now as far as hiking them up. But it's gone to a pass the, a place of point of no return. Now, what does that mean, Luke? That means basically if you are having all this interest rate, all this inflation going on, but the wages are not meeting up with that inflation, you're suffering, right? Gas is going at a ridiculous price. We go into a situation where people are debating about either taking care of their family by providing them with medicine or providing them with food. And it doesn't help also that we're in summertime. So AC, the power bill, is going to be way up. And there's no relief. And it's, it's sad. The only thing that I can say about that is that it was a setup from the get-go, right? And this is not just happening in the United States. This is happening all throughout the world with uh, money going up and down. And I'm going to tell you what I do believe. I do believe that we're going to start seeing more Bitcoin. And I know a lot of people, what do you mean Bitcoin, Bitcoin? We just have those things. I think this is just going to weed out the ones that can't hold their weight. I really do think that a lot of people have cryptocurrency and they got hurt trying to new things. But some of these cryptocurrencies are going to stand out to be the longest and running ones right there. And a lot of people are not going to trust what's going on with the currencies around the world. You know, if a dollar can't hold up to what it's supposed to be or a dinar or whatever it may be, then what good is it? You're going to have to have something that's going to be a little bit more liquid than those things themselves right there. But overall, as far as a, a world perspective, right, we have to be smart about where the money's going. A lot of people don't think about that. A lot of people just think about, well, I'm just going to get my paycheck, go party on the weekends and do whatever it is. But as someone is supposed to be smart, as someone's supposed to be wise about watching out for people trying to take advantage of you, this is one of those times where people are being taken advantage of. So it's going to be a major, a major shift, right? Come election time in the United States. And with that, that's going to be the president. It's going to set everything up as far as how everything goes around the world, because people are looking at what's going on now with the United States, looking at how the money goes. I know we got a lot of chaos going on in the world and whatnot, but they are particularly looking at the United States and how this money thing is going. Because as far as being American, a lot of people are going to look at their paychecks when it comes to voting. And they're going to sit here and wonder, like, what's the best way to get a leg up? Because to me, I don't look at the politicians for the money because that that's going to be up and down right there. Right. Depending on who you get in there, they can set a policy. And then at the end of the day, that policy can hurt you or make you. Instead of doing that, I look at having multiple streams. Also looking also overseas too, not putting all my money into one country because that's how you get set up as well too. And a lot of people don't believe me. See what's going on with the United States right now. I was looking at my Fidelity report with my IRA and it took a hell of a dip. And a lot of people couldn't afford that dip. Like older people who are not working, older people had to start working again. And that's not fair, right? It, it messes up everything, right? So older people are not retiring like they normally would because they don't have enough money put away. And that's part of blame based off how we've been taught about money 
going into the states, you know, living in public education, and they don't really talk about how you can be an entrepreneur. You have to know someone or get around the right people to understand that, but they don't never teach that in school. Not from where I went to school at, right? They taught you to get good grades. They taught you to work hard in school. And this is how you need to interview for someone. This is what you need to do to go work for someone. Not thinking for yourself. And that's that's where this channel is eliminating that right there. We want you to be able to think for yourself. It's too easy for you to walk around in this world on a leash, right? And someone say, go here, sit there, touch this and whatnot. But a lot of people are hurting because of that, right? A lot of people drinking the juice, thinking everything's going to be all right. For example, you know, when COVID took place, a lot of people, it's like everything's going to be all right because we're going to keep getting these checks and everything's going to be well. You know, they're going to give me a little check. I'm, I'm going to be good. But them checks dried up, right? They're not going to be forever. And the government was cashing, giving people checks that they couldn't even take care of. So now we're in a situation where we're hurting because of that, right? Part of that. A lot of people save that money, which doesn't hurt, right? Good to save money, but it's also good to use money to make money. And when they start buying things and they couldn't keep up with that, that demand, you know, things start going up too. People got greedy. The businesses got greedy. And at the end of the day, it started really, really, really bad because they had to have a way to control spending and say, so what's the best way to control spending is to raise the interest rates. So things that you normally buy, vehicles, houses, you know, you got credit cards, those things start getting into double digits. And a lot of people weren't able to handle it. A lot of people are like, well, how am I going to get help? Let me do COVID. That's what COVID is over with, basically. It's a vaccine now. And now folks are being set back. And another thing is that people who was trying to cross into getting out of the working middle